Hey guys, I'm here to do my weekly wrap-up video for uh, the breaks, to recap those. Um, also, what I've bought maybe off of eBay or at flea markets, etc. Well, I got a lot to get through this week. Um, we'll start with the breaks. Uh, let's see. I did a break of a box got from Walmart called Gunslingers and uh, I pulled this Justin Forsett autograph out of that box um, I also did a break of Bowman Platinum <clears throat> and here's the two autographs guaranteed to pull out of that Bowman Platinum monster box that I got from Walmart and also got to pull a bunch of let's see I got Pulled a bunch of rookies out of there, really good ones. Pete Alonzo, Oil Jimenez, uh, Ramon Lariano, and so on. It's a really nice product. I really like the look of these cards and the design of these cards. Nice thick card stock. I actually enjoy those more than the base Bowman from what I've seen so far. Although I do have a couple of blaster boxes of that I still need to open. Um, let's see, I also picked up Boardwalk of Baseball, I think it's called, by Tops, Baseball's Top Run Makers set, 33 cards, always love those small sets, got a jumbo cello pack of 1990 tops. I also bought a collection, a small collection off of somebody at the, the flea market. Uh, and while a lot of those cards are still at the flea market, uh, my friend at the flea market is selling them on consignment for me. I did pull some of the stuff to add to my private collection or at least to investigate further. Uh, and among the, some of the coolest ones were these tobacco cards. Some of them in outstanding shape. There's Babes in Toyland from 1935, famous film scenes. Um, David Copperfield, famous film scenes, 1935. We got Buster Keaton. It says 30s and 40s, but I think it's from the 30s. And we've got uh, Jimmy Durante. Shots from famous films. Hollywood Party. So, that's cool. Um... Boxing fans, this one's pretty neat. Jack Johnson from Churchman's Cigarettes, I think it's right. Yeah. 1936 Boxing Personalities. I think I've got some more of these boxing personality cards, but that's probably by far the most famous boxer. And then we've got these. Charlie Chaplin tobacco cards from the 1930s. So those were really cool. I don't have a ton of old tobacco cards in my collection. So to get to add these was really cool. Um, let's see. I got Frank Thomas. 1991 Studio Mint 9. 1991 Tops Chipper Jones Rookie Near Mint 8. Put that aside. That's actually from my uh, break of Gems of the Game. I forgot to up and recap that. And that's the uh, uh, credit card I pulled from the Gems of the Game box. 
which was actually a pleasant surprise because I've seen almost nothing but Phillies cards pulled from that uh, box in other people's videos. So to get an Ichiro was pretty cool. Um, 1991 Tops traded Jason Giambi, Team USA rookie. Mint 9. Uh, 1991 Upper Deck Maurice, or as many of you know him. Uh, move on near Mint 8. Uh, I always love getting these. I was talking about that Boardwalk and Baseball set. This is a. These are cards from a set like that. A near mint 8, 1990 Kmart Superstars set. Mark McGuire. And from that same set, a mint 9, Brian Sandberg. Let's see. Michael Vick, rookie. Joe Namath out of 99. Patch. These are all from that collection that I bought. Calvin Johnson, Lucky 13, Ultra, Fleer Ultra, Lucky 13, Calvin Johnson, rookie. It's a couple Calvin Johnson rookie cards. I'm a huge Howie Long fan. He was one of my all-time favorite football players. So this huge patch from Chris Long, which looks like it has an autograph on it that's a little faded, but still rookie class from uh, Threads. And that is out of 100. So that was really cool. Uh, Tops Chrome, Russell Wilson, rookie. I got this booklet, Carson Wentz, rookie card. Um, let's see, that was a god. This Donruss, press proof, rated rookie, Carson Wentz. That's really cool. Saquon Barkley Prism Patch Card Another great card <laughs> I got a lot to go through like I said um, And I had a ton more Like if I would have brought everything home From my private collection out of this That I bought It would have been an hour long video This Donovan McNabb QBC materials. Another Calvin Johnson. This one's Gem Mint 10. The, uh, the Dom McNabb was encased from Sports Collectors Digest Authentic. It's actually not graded, it's just authenticated. Still cool to have it encapsulated like that. Um, Gem Mint 10, Calvin Johnson. This is a good looking card. Topps Chrome. Calvin Johnson Blue Refractor Gem Mint 10. This 2008 score. Calvin Johnson Blue Parallel. Rookie card. Uh, let's see. You also got this Frank Thomas and this Ryan Klesko. Just some cool odds and, end, odds and end cards. Uh, I got this box called 1990 Baseball Greats from Swell. And I was looking forward to cracking that on the channel, but I opened it up and they're already open. But it was pretty much a throw in. So. Nothing really lost. It was, like, it was next to nothing. It was like a buck. <laughs> but I was looking forward to opening that up on the channel. But just to give you an idea of what the cards in that set look like. Focus. There you go. 
and then the backs of the cards. I think the only Oreo I found when I went through the box, I didn't go through absolutely every single card, but I went through them pretty well. There's a Boog Pow card, but I didn't see any Brooks or Franks in there, so I guess whoever opened them up already pulled those. Um, one thing I did get that I'm looking forward to opening on the channel someday soon here is from 1983 Donruss Hall of Fame baseball greats and as you can see the wax packs are in there and sealed so that's from the summer of 1983 I remember buying those when I was a kid and it's a really limited set there's only like 44 cards in it so you might be able to complete a set or two out of that one box um, let's see what else I got here some more graded cards near mint 8 1988 Fleer glossy Roger Clemens 1989 Topps Tiffany Barry Larkin. It's always cool to get Topps Tiffany, even if it is just a near mint eight. Topps Tiffany's are always nicer cards than the regular Topps. 1986 Topps Dave Winfield near mint eight. 1988 Fleer Update Roberto Alomar from the glossy set near mint eight rookie card. And 1992 Stadium Club, Ken Griffey Jr., Mint 9. And then in the background here, I have more cards. 1988 Topps Tiffany, Cal Ripken, Near Mint 8. Nineteen eighty nine Topps Tiffany, Cal Ripken, Mint 9. 1985 uh, Eddie Murray let's see mint 9 1984 uh, 1984 Fleer Eddie Murray and a 1983 Fleer Eddie Murray mint 9 one of my all time favorite sets 83 was really like one of my favorite years for collecting. I was really into the sport. Oh, and I also got this out of that collection. A Shohei Otane rookie card. So that's always cool to get. I didn't have this one, so. Well, there you go, guys. My haul this week. It was a really big one with some these tobacco cards and some other stuff it was a really interesting and cool haul I don't know what how good my haul next week's going to be because I'm pretty tapped out funds wise now but I'll try to find something cool uh, I do have some breaks coming up this week so be on the lookout for that I'll have one almost every day this week starting tomorrow and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.